Hey everyone, Alex Buy Stuff here and I'm making another Cybertruck video. Um, it's been a few months since I made one and I've only made a couple. Uh, the last one I made was pretty bad quality. I apologize if anyone actually watched it, but I was in a big big rush because of work. But anyway, uh, today's topic is do I pick up my Cybertruck based on the current conditions that they're, the Tesla is requiring? Um, I feel like I'm in kind of a difficult position and there are going to be some other people out there that uh, every day that goes by from today into the future, there are going to be more and more people that run into the same problem as I'm having. So I'm hoping that my video, and I'll probably do a follow-up to this, hopefully this will help other people. That's the goal. But also maybe you guys can help me, anyone that's had either been in this situation already with your Cybertruck that you bought or that you didn't buy because you decided it wasn't the best idea for you based on the this contractual situations. But uh, anyway, I'm looking for advice from experts or people that have been in my shoes. Uh, not just, please don't give me your advice about like, just take it because it's the best truck ever or um, don't take it, it's the worst truck ever. I'm not, I'm not interested in opinions about the truck. I'm interested in advice about contracts and legal type of stuff. I'm not saying I'm looking for exact legal advice, but... Uh, yeah, let me go over the situation and then you guys will probably understand what I'm saying a little bit better. So, I got a text message on uh, Saturday. Today is Monday, uh, June 24th. And on Saturday, I got a text message, uh, hey, this is Tesla, your Cybertruck is ready to be picked up. And I was kind of like, what the hell is going on? What do you mean? You guys told me end of the year. In fact, um, let's do this, yeah. It's, oh, that's going to be really hard for you guys. See, let me zoom that in right there. Okay, now I make my face small. And this was what I was told and actually was on like the last video I made. Here's the price, Cyber Beast estimated delivery late 2024. What they were trying to do was, in my opinion, I'm not, I'm just a, um, a guess here, right? But it seemed like they were trying to push people that had ordered triple motors into taking dual motors by saying you can get your dual motor like almost right now if you switch to dual motor. Um, and they're, that they're trying to incentivize saying you can get it faster, right? So I'm like, you know what? I ordered the triple motor. I want the triple motor. I'm a car guy. I like fast stuff. I want the fast one. Um, so I, I said I'd wait. And I and I didn't need it right away anyway. Um, I already have a uh, Ford Raptor R. I love my Raptor R. Uh, I'm not saying I'm a huge Ford fanboy. I'm not a Tesla fanboy. I just like cars. I'm not uh, all about gas cars or all about electric cars. I just like cars. Okay. So let's just keep that straight. So anyway, I scheduled the pickup. It says, come pick it up on Monday. And I'm like, what the heck? Like it's so Monday today. Now, now that's today. I kind of thought it wasn't real. And then I got a phone call on Sunday while I was at a, my kid's soccer game. And the, the guy was like, yeah, so you'll be here tomorrow. And he started asking me all these like questions where I feel like I need to be, um, I need like documents and stuff. And I was like, I, I, I'm at a soccer field. So anyway, fast forward till today. And that's where really the, what, what it starts to get interesting or where I, where I'm asking for advice. Um, my appointment was at noon, which was two hours ago from right now. Um, I showed up there and, um, they wanted me to start, you know, just here, you're here to pick up your truck that was, you know, take it away. And I said, well, before we get too deep into all this stuff, I have some questions. I had heard that there is a um, contract that I need to sign that says that if I sell it before, um, and I think I'm saying this out of order, but I'll, I'll get into that in a second, but there's this contract where if I sell it within one year, <clears throat> Tesla can basically sue me for $50,000 or something to that effect. And the guy's like, oh yeah, yeah, you have to sign that. And I was like, well, really? Why? And he's like, everyone, everyone has to sign that. And I'm just like, well, I, I don't really want to. I mean, what if I don't like it? And he's like, well, you know, that's, that's just something everyone's got to sign it basically. And then I'm like, okay, well the cars, the truck's right there, right outside. I could see it through the window. And he's like, yeah, that's yours. And I'm like, great. Well, can I just test drive it first to make sure I like it? Oh no, no, you, you, you can't test drive it. <laughs> he kind of like made me feel like I'm an idiot for asking to test drive a $120,000 truck. Um, cool. Anyway, he was nice. I get it. But he's also, you know, he works. So he's trying to get people through the lines and stuff. There are a lot of people buying Teslas, right? So um, it wasn't, not that I was crazy busy, but I, I was trying to be respectful of his time. But also, you know, for a lot of people, $120,000, unless you're Elon Musk, 
Um, that's a lot of money, right? So it's a big vehicle. It's a big, a big purchase. It's a big uh, investment, however you want to say it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm asking very reasonable questions. Can I, it's right there. Can I test drive it? No. So I have to pay for it right now. Yes. And I have to sign this contract that says if I don't like it, that you'll sue me for 50 grand if I sell it. Yes. It's like a, you know, a whole bunch of problems here. Now, in a different world, um, this wouldn't matter as much either. But as I went over in my last video, Tesla effectively raised the price on the Cybertruck $56,000. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. Now, this does depend on which options you were selecting, which version of the Cybertruck, but it's very easy to explain. I'm going to tell you right, right now, very quickly. If you ordered the triple motor Cybertruck, it was $70,000 approximately. If you wanted the full self-driving, it was another $10,000 option. So let's just say 80 grand for the fully fledged big one, right? So to say, this is the big, the big uh, expense. So 80 grand. With the way that they changed it, they force upon you to take the foundation series, which I don't want. And they charge you $20,000 for the foundation series. Now, as part of the foundation series, they are giving you full self-driving. So to me, the, I'm, I'm getting 10 grand of what I wanted originally, which I was okay with paying for. But now they're making me take $10,000 of garbage, straight hot garbage that I don't want. White decor or whatever, stupid. Uh, sorry, again, I said this last week. I try not to cuss. Um, it's complete BS. And okay, so... I'll, maybe I'll have to justify to myself that I'm going to pay 20 grand for self-driving. But then they raised the price of the base vehicle from 70 to 100. So now you're actually at another 30. So you take the 20 and you subtract 10 from that, and that's a $10,000 $10, increase. And then they, in the base of the car, went up 30 grand. So that's a $40,000 net increase that you, that you don't want to pay for, that you shouldn't have to pay for. But it gets worse because the original... Uh, Cybertruck was supposed to be a, a 500 mile range was what they quoted and the base the if you don't pay for an upgrade it's only 300 miles um, you know if I started calculating all the percentages on this like the the de the increase in price percentage and the decrease in mileage well it's crazy huge percentages for for a reasonable person to consider but then you can get the four you can get 470 miles still short of 500 miles slightly short if you pay another 16 grand so to get Basically, what they originally promised you, you had to pay another sixteen grand. That's where I land at the fifty-six thousand dollars increase because I'm, of course, including sixteen thousand dollars more for what they originally promised that they're not giving you included in the price. Fifty-six thousand dollars you're paying for more, hundred twenty or hundred thirty something thousand dollar truck now, and you're telling me that I have to pay fifty grand if I don't like it. I mean, that's why things change so quickly. You know, think about it this way: uh, if you ordered the Cybertruck, the single motor one that was forty grand originally quoted and uh, you didn't like it, I mean, you could probably, a lot of people, I'm not saying everyone, it's still a lot of money, right? But a lot of people could stomach holding on to it for a year, making their payments, whatever, and just biting the bullet, so to say. Um, you know, like, all right, just got to tough this out for a year. It was a 40000 you know, I've got my payment here. But when you're talking about uh, 130, 140 taxes on it, it might, be, it might go up to $150,000 vehicle and a payment, you're going to have all the money you put down and you just hate the car, the vehicle, like now we're talking unreasonable, in my, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. I'm not trying to be some spoiled, sound like some spoiled rich kid or whatever. I own a business. Um, I, use via, I use trucks for my business. And uh, I was, that's why I ordered the Cybertruck because I thought it was going to be a very good replacement for my previous truck I was using for my business. It still might be. I just really don't like this contract. And then, so now it, that part of the video is over, okay? I'm basically like, I'm now asking like, okay, you know my situation. Does it make sense to sign the contract? And then, and then if I don't like it, sell it. And maybe there's some people on the internet that say that, that it won't stand up in court in Cal. I live in California. Um, there's certain thing contracts that you can sign and they don't hold up in court so that they know they'll make you like, I'll give you an example. If you get a job in California and there's a non-compete clause in it and you sign it, the company can never sue you. It won't, they can, I mean, they can try, but it will never stand up in court. I, I, the, a lot of companies will do it to kind of um, intimidate you. And if you don't sign it, they won't give you the job. So you just sign it. I've done it before. 
but they can't actually if you like you know if you do something about the non-compete they can't do anything they can't it'll get thrown out of court instantly um, so I don't know if this is one of those situations where because Tesla is forcing you to sign this contract to take the car that they're putting you in a situation that's not really reasonable in my opinion it's not reasonable you can't test drive it I mean that's not reasonable um, I don't think I don't think it should hold up in court but I'm not a lawyer so is there anyone out there that like, hey, yeah, I, I, I talked to my lawyer and this is what they said, or I am a lawyer and this is my opinion, but don't, you know, don't hold me to it. Just like some people have some experience or guesses or like, yeah, you know, while it's not this exact case, it's similar to this case I saw from 2015 where some money went to court and I don't know, I just kind of want something that makes me feel comfortable. So if I end up not liking it, I don't have to worry about this $50,000 lawsuit thing because that's not a good investment. <laughs> it's not worth it's not worth the trouble to think you're going to, you know, between the 50 $50,000 is an insane amount of money to have to pay. And then if you think about all the time, if there is an actual lawsuit, I don't know if I've never actually been involved in a court proceeding where I was suing someone or being sued. I've been close to suing someone before because they um, ripped me off in business in a biz the business world. Um, but it's it's a lot of time and you don't want to get into it. That stuff if you don't have to. So, um, okay. A lot of people could probably just click away from this video, but I just wanted to cover a couple more things too um, for people that are like, oh yeah, I'm really interested in just Cybertruck, other other things. Um, I'm going to turn off my camera. What is it? Display capture? No, sorry. It is video capture. Boom. Okay. And, oh, do I have some? I forgot. I took a couple of pictures of the car that I didn't show yet just because... Um, I thought it might be good to prove to people that I wasn't making it up. Um, so yeah, this is just, I should have took a video while I was there. I just, I wasn't thinking about it, right? You know, I was in the moment. The guy, they said, some of these pictures are because they said they just detailed it. And the guy was like, yeah, you know, we just detailed it for you. And if you don't take it right now, we're not, we're not detailing it again. I'm like, uh, thanks, man. Like, I didn't ask you guys to, but just felt a little weird that they even said that. Like, it mattered that much about it detailing. Like it's like a hundred thirty thousand dollar car. You're not gonna wash it again. Like what is up? I think there's a big disconnect in some shape and form with this. This is like some people buying these are like the people that are used to buying, you know, an expensive BMW or something like that. And this is <laughs> they're not delivering an experience that is really on on par with the price of the vehicle. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't matter about BMWs and Mercedes and stuff like that. It just matters that people that are paying this much are, are going to expect a little bit more. Anyway, so um, yeah, I had some notes right here you just saw. Um, so I pre-ordered my Cybertruck within a few minutes. So that's, I'm pretty early. Um, I, I saw I was, as I mentioned, I, I saw that I was going to get it at the end of the year and then all of a sudden that gets ready. Well, uh, why do you think it's ready? Is it ready because they just gave me a bad quote or because their production numbers are up so high they're making them so much faster? I'm pretty sure it's because someone canceled their order in my area and they're like, who else is in the area that we could give it to? Because the, the truck was literally already here. Don't you think that they would have sent me an update like, hey, good news, your truck's like being shipped to, to your local, like weeks in advance. Your truck is being shipped to your local pickup facility. Good news. And like prepare someone, right? No, it was literally today it, on Saturday. I think I kind of came and picked it up like as soon as the message came through. I, I think that someone canceled the order because of all the problems that they're having with Cybertruck. So people talking about rust, water problems, this and that, and you know, wind, uh, charge ports getting stuck and people slicing their hands on it and cutting cucumbers with it. And, you know, I think people are just canceling between $56,000 price increase and, you know, people getting hurt and the quality not being good, potentially, I think people are canceling their orders. Um, that's just my opinion, and I think that's why my, my truck was ready today. Um, I also don't know why the rim protectors, were these things, this isn't how it normally would look. That looks gross. They usually have like a wheel cover thing. It's like I think it's made out of plastic, but that's usually, maybe they put the covers in the truck bed or something. But okay, so anyway, that was, I just wanted to mention that part. Um, I've also been excited for this Cybertruck. I didn't order it to flip it. I ordered it because I wanted it. Um, you know, I was really envisioning myself on a lot of my business trips where I'm driving up to Los Angeles. I live in San Diego and it's not that long of a, um, a drive, but there's a lot of traffic. And uh, when I'm doing that drive, I'm usually going up to meet with a client or something <clears throat> or a vendor. And, uh, all that time I'm in the truck, 
driving there, I could if I could be working, if I had a laptop or something, and I could actually get, be getting work done, having spread do spreadsheets and stuff like that, it'd be a huge increase in productivity for me. So I was really kind of imagining how cool that would have been for me. So that was one of the reasons why I ordered it. Um, so yeah, I was actually I've been really excited for it. I know a lot of people hate how it looks. I'm kind of in the middle. I think it looks it's interesting looking and it's kind of fun. Um, I I'm not like obsessed with the design, but I'm all of this stuff. I'm just in the middle, right? Uh, which is fine. And but yeah, I'm not a Tesla fanboy, um, and I'm not like a fanboy of really any car in particular, any brand. Um, so I just like mentioning that originally. Oh yeah, sorry. A lot of these other notes um, I've already said. Uh, oh, another thing is when the person called me, they said, you know, the truck is under the name, my, my personal name, Alex, and my last name. And I said, yeah, but I think I had it under my company name because I was going to have it as a company in car. And he's like, no. And I, I was having a hard time remembering how I did the paperwork, but I think they didn't offer a company thing when I did it the first time. It just said finance or whatever. I, I clicked the finance button. And, and I remember I mentioned this before in my last video, but it, it was at like 6.5% finance rate, which is pretty normal for these days. Um, but I was curious if that rate would hold up for a, as a commercial loan. I don't even know if they do commercial loans. So when I said I wanted to do it on my, on my business name, the guy got really weird on the phone. And that's actually when I, was, I told you I was at a soccer field. So I was just like, Maybe I shouldn't say really weird. Like if he heard, if that salesperson heard my video, he might be offended. I'm not trying to say he's a weird voice or he's a weird, he's a nice guy. Um, so sorry if I sounded offensive, but um, he, he just didn't seem like super pumped about me saying that, so to say. And like, maybe there's gonna have to be a lot more paperwork. Maybe it couldn't even work that way. But I, I just said, we should probably talk about it later when I'm not at a soccer field. Um, so anyway, those are kind of, I think those are most of the main notes. I hope that there are some people out here, out there that are kind of, they're seeing stuff like I am, but you might be in my shoes too, where like, it's so last minute, two days from now, come pick up your truck. Like what the heck? Like I had, you know, in my head, I had months. And for a lot of people, like you, you see that, okay, I don't have to have my money together until the end of the year. I can invest my money however I want to. I can do these things and plan around it. When you when it's this much money, a lot of people are going to be planning their money around the time, Right and making moves with that with their money or saving their money or investing it and timing it does it matters right so when someone says come pick up your truck 6 months potentially it could be less than 6 months it's at the end of the year but um you know that's that's early right that's super early and that's hard to plan around and, and it's not only just like come pick it up or like you're off the list is how it feels i could be wrong about that but it's like you're we're early but it doesn't matter is that that's how it feels we're early but it doesn't matter so, um, anyway, that's pretty much wraps up my video. I hope you guys might have some feedback. Please keep it positive, guys. Like, I mean, this isn't here. I'm not trying to rip Tesla. I'm, not, I'm hoping there aren't. I don't want, I'm try, not trying to get comments from either side. I don't want the crazy Tesla fanboys telling me that I suck because I'm even considering it. I don't want the people that um, hate Tesla and are, you know, blocking charging stations. Uh, reasonable stuff. Let's keep it reasonable. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time.